Okay, so in this video we want to look at solving cubic inequalities. So if we have a cubic expression greater than a value or less than a value or greater than or equal to a value or less than or equal to a value. The process here is exactly the same as it is for quadratics. In fact, it's exactly the same as it is for all non-linear functions. The only function that you can solve an inequality for just algebraically is a linear function where you do the same thing to both sides of the inequality until you get x on its own bearing in mind that if you multiply or divide by a negative you have to reverse the inequality it's the only linear functions the only inequalities that you can solve algebraically okay if it's a quadratic inequality a cubic inequality a hyperbola inequality a truncus inequality whatever you must only do one thing and that is you must no options consider a graph it's the only way to do it it's all you've got to do draw the graph and then the answer is sitting right there in front of you okay I don't it doesn't matter how loud I say that how big a font I used to write that what color pen I used to write that in in my experiences in my experience all students think they can solve um, nonlinear inequalities just algebra by shuffling around the algebra but you cannot and you must draw a graph it's all you've got to do draw a graph okay so we want to solve as an example here we're just going to do one it's very simple it just requires you to know how to sketch a cubic graph we want to solve x cubed plus x squared minus 2x less than or equal to zero so it is where the graph of y equals x cubed plus x squared minus 2x is uh, less than or equal to the graph of y equals 0. Now, hint, the graph of y equals 0 is the x-axis. So if it has to be less than the graph of y equals 0, that means we need the graph of this to be below or on the x-axis. So we just have to draw the graph so we can see where it is below or on the x-axis. So we're focusing on sketching this graph. That's what we need to sketch. Okay. So sketching that graph, we want to think about um, y-intercept is nice and easy. Actually, the y-intercept is irrelevant, really. Uh, when we don't, the question is not asking us to sketch the graph. We don't really need a perfectly precise graph. We just need to know where the x-intercepts are and what the shape of the graph is. So I'm seeing that it's a positive cubic graph, which means we've got positive x cubed, and so it's going to go up as we go from left to right. I'm going to find the x-intercepts, which means solving 0 equals x cubed plus x squared minus 2x. Now, solving a cubic, uh, first thing I want to do is, if I can rearrange, I will, but I can't. So I want to try and factorise, make one side zero and factorise, so I can use the null factor law. First step of factorisation is to look for common factors, and there is a nice handy common factor of x here, which is going to leave me with this. And so now I'm looking to factorise the quadratic further. Factors of negative 2 that add up to positive 1, that's going to be x plus 2, x minus 1. And so we can see that the null factor law tells us we're going to have x-intercepts at x equals 0, x equals negative 2 and x equals 1 and because each of those factors is a linear factor it's to the power of 1 we're going to be cutting through the axis at each of those three values okay so our graph then uh, negative 1 0 and 2 again it doesn't need to be perfect it's just a sketch to allow us to solve the inequality Okay, and we decided it was a positive cubic, so we're going up as we go from left to right. So we're coming from there, we're going down here, and going up here. This is, I'm oh, sorry, I did the wrong way around. It doesn't really matter, but let me just move that one over a little bit. Should be that way. So up. Okay, so it's 1 and 0 and negative 2. So this is the graph of y equals x cubed plus x minus 2x. This is the graph here of y equals 0. And we want to know where this is bigger than or equal to. Was that way around? Wasn't No, sorry. Where this is less than or equal to this. So we want to know where that cubic is on or below the x-axis. So that is going to be 
down here and down here, okay? But the question is for what x values, we're solving for x, what x values make the cubic on or below the x-axis. So it's going to be at that x value and anything back there, the cubic is down here, okay? And it's going to be between these two x values, that's where the cubic is negative, okay? So we can see from our graph that x cubed plus x minus 2x is less than or equal to 0 when x is less than or equal to negative 2 or when x is between 0 and 1. And it's inclusive in this case um, because it's less than or equal to. We could write that in set notation if we wanted. So we could say um, x is an element of negative infinity to negative 2, square bracket, union 0 to 1, square bracket. Either notation is fine in terms of answering this particular question. One step, sketch a graph. Then once you've got your graph sketched, you've got all the information you need to be able to solve the inequality. All right, so exercise 6G gives you a bit more um, graph sketching practice and just taking it that step further to using your graph to find the solution to the inequality. Oh, can I say one other thing before I stop? If the inequality is not less than or it's not zero on one side, I would rearrange it to make it zero on, on one side. So if this original question, for example, had been x cubed plus x squared minus uh, is less than or equal to two x, um, the first thing I would do would be to get everything on one side so that then you're always comparing a graph to the x-axis. Okay, so whether it's about whether it's in this case below the x-axis or if it was a greater than question when it's above the x-axis. Okay, so exercise 6G.